everyone. I want to talk about an email I got uh, a couple days ago on Friday. Uh, it was regarding uh, gifts to employees. So you can give your employees up to two gifts a year, $200 per gift, assuming the rules haven't changed. And those gifts have to be non-cash gifts. So if you were to give them, let's say, a set of golf clubs, uh, that would be something that, that you could do. Um, and then there wouldn't be a taxable benefit on that, okay? Uh, now what the question was that I got was, can I give my employees cash gifts? And the answer is no. Uh, those are bonuses. And then the next question was, can I give them gift cards or a prepaid visa or something like that? Um, and the answer to that is also no. Um, because those are like cash items, okay? So, like cash, gift certificates, prepaid visa is the same thing uh, as cash and is taxable to the employee. So you can give those things to your employees uh, if you feel the need for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, stuff like that, um, but they are going to be, they are going to be taxable. And another thing I wanna talk about is tips, okay? so. Every year, we get the same question, how much of my tips do I claim on my taxes? And the answer is 100% of them, okay? So there is a misconception out there that uh, you only have to claim 15% of the tips that you get, and that is absolutely incorrect. You're supposed to claim 100% I believe the confusion came in where, you know, the average tip rate is 15% when, you know, back in 2003, the CRA went through Lethbridge and they went through all the restaurants, all the servers, audited hundreds of people. Um, I knew at least half a dozen of them that got audited and the 15% was 15% of the table bill when they were on shift. Okay, so it wasn't 15% of their tips, it was 15% of the bill. And some people took this, you know, got a deal from the CRA and they took the deal. And some people decided to fight the deal and then lost and ended up paying more in the end. Okay, because you have to prove that you're not getting that much tips. So the best way to do that is to keep a journal. So if you work in the restaurant industry and hopefully your restaurant has opened, Make sure you keep a journal of your tips. That'll serve as proof for what you've received, okay? And uh, try not to miss any. Wink, wink. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you guys. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your friends. And be well.